Too many areas of our country are being held back by low investment, low quality jobs, low wages, and slow growth. Inequalities of class, race, and gender are very stark all across Britain. We promise to put economic power into the hands of the many, to transform the economy uh, from top to bottom, doubling the size of our cooperative sector, putting key sectors, water, energy, rail, and Royal Mail into new and democratic forms of public ownership. So if you have such a huge national, personal and political problem, why are you looking so closely at what's happening at the local level? Because it is about a feeling of community and it is about a feeling of how people relate to each other. So you have to have a democracy in process at a local level as well as a national level and within your party and within your movement that holds people to account. And so the localism is the Preston model that we're using, but we got that model, or I didn't, but others got that model from Cleveland, another place in the USA where you've got post-industrial places that are basically regenerating themselves through local endeavor with national help. John McDonnell and I often say, it's not when I win an election, it's when we win the election. It's empowering of people. You even have a place for co-ops in your manifesto. Absolutely. Um, co-ops are something that's intrinsic to the British Labour movement. And across the world, they're massive. There's a billion people. One in six of the world's populations are either users or members of a co-op of some form. So what we're proposing is national investment, proper taxation for the very richest, and empowerment of communities through local spending, local investment, and empowering people to determine their own lives. Social justice, socialism.